Invisible Booba. One cool autumn day, Booba and Lula are playing at home. They climb up to the attic, looking for something new to play with. There are many boxes filled with all sorts of interesting things. They must be able to find something fun to play with. Booba opens the first box and rummages through it. <coughs> He reappears wearing a cute red bow tie and a helmet with large horns. <laughs> he shows Lula. She thinks Booba looks like a Viking. She giggles. <laughs> now Lula wants to dress up too. She searches through the boxes and wonders what she'll find. <laughs> Lula reappears in a tiny pink top hat and a ballet tutu. Ta-da! Booba thinks Lula looks like a circus ballerina. He bows in front of Lula and she curtsies back. <laughs> they both burst out laughing. They're having lots of fun dressing up. They keep looking through the boxes, wanting to find more costumes. Lula appears wearing a princess dress and playfully runs away from Booba, who is now dressed as a dragon. In a flash, Booba flutters around the attic with beautiful wings on his back and bunny ears on his head. Lula tries to catch him with a butterfly net, dressed as a pirate. Suddenly, Booba is an astronaut and Lula is a magician. She puts on a pointed purple hat and picks up a toy wand. She's not interested in Booba and his astronaut costume. Lula finds a picture and looks at it with interest. It's a picture of nighttime with a fluttering golden haired fairy wearing a pink dress. She has a magic wand that lights up to show her the way. Lula wants to be just like her. Booba takes off his astronaut costume and opens another box. Ooh. In one of them, he finds an unusual cloak. It is red on one side and the color of the night sky covered in stars on the other. Booba puts the cloak on and looks in the mirror. But where has his body gone? He can only see his head hovering in the air. The cloak has made his body disappear. Booba thinks this is very cool. <laughs> cool. He pulls his hands out from under his cloak and they immediately appear in the mirror. He hides them again. They are gone. Booba laughs. <laughs> it's fun making yourself invisible. He looks at Lula, who is still playing at being a magician. She points the magic wand at a feather and tries to make it fly. <laughs> she tries it once, twice, three times, but it doesn't work. Disappointed, Lula takes off her hat and puts down her wand. Maybe she's just not very good at being a magician. She notices some milkshake and a plate of cookies on the table next to her. Lula is hungry, so she reaches for the biscuits. When suddenly, an invisible hand takes them from her. She can hear somebody munching on it, but can't see anyone. More munching until all the biscuits have disappeared. Lula is not happy. She picks up the milkshake, not wanting to lose this to the invisible gobbler. But it's too late. She hears a slurping sound from the straw in the glass and soon it is all gone. Suddenly, lots of strange things start to happen. Her magic wand rises into the air on its own. It spins in front of Lula and then soars upwards inviting Lula to play catch with it. Lula tries to catch the wand, which is flying all over the attic. Suddenly, Booba's cloak catches on an umbrella sticking out of the box and falls to the floor. Lula finally sees that the wand has not been moving by itself. It is Booba, who has been holding it in his hands. <laughs> He didn't realise that he has been caught out and he stands still, staring at Lula for some time. 
It isn't until Lula coughs and stares at him that Booba finally notices his cloak hanging on the umbrella. <coughs> Booba rushes to grab it and wraps himself up. <coughs> He's embarrassed that Lula has found him out. But Lula isn't angry with Booba. She loves magic. Booba takes off his hood and Lula can see him. She reaches out to touch the invisibility cloak. She loves it. Suddenly, they hear Spike outside. <coughs> Booba and Lula rush to the window. He's trying to get an apple down from the tree. He pushes it this way and that, but the apple won't budge. Booba and Lula look at each other mischievously. They have an idea for a prank. <laughs> Lula puts her pointed hat back on and picks up the magic wand. She playfully taps Booba's head with it. He puts on the hood and immediately disappears. The fun begins! Lula goes into the garden to see Spike. He is still trying to reach the apple. She waves her wand and offers to help him. Spike giggles. He doesn't believe in magic and carries on trying to reach the apple himself. Booba takes off his hood and smiles mischievously at Lula. He is ready to play the game. Booba puts the hood back on and climbs the apple tree, completely invisible to Spike. As Spike climbs into the tree, Lula whistles to get his attention. She waves her magic wand and the apple falls off the branch and flies over to a shocked Spike. <laughs> The apple floats above Spike and he chases it. But the apple is playing silly games. Spike thinks the apple is very clever. Spike gives up and lies on the lawn, worn out. Lula notices this and waves her magic wand at the apple. It flies straight over to Spike. Spike is delighted and suddenly believes in magic. Booba and Lula feel very pleased with themselves and head back into the house. They notice Noodle wearing a helmet and goggles. He sits in the cockpit of a toy airplane pretending to be a pilot. Booba and Lula look at each other mischievously. They decide to prank Noodle too. Booba puts on his hood again and immediately disappears. Lula approaches Noodle. She waves her magic wand in front of him. But Noodle isn't interested. He doesn't believe in magic. Lula waves her wand again. And then the propeller on the front of Noodle's plane suddenly spins by itself. Suddenly, Noodle takes off. His plane flies through the house at a high speed, then flies outside, up to the roof and over to the playground. Surprisingly, Noodle and his plane slide down the slide, play on the swing and jump on the trampoline. When they eventually return to the house and come into land on the table, Noodle looks as if he's been on a roller coaster ride of a lifetime. But he looks happy. He's had the best time, thanks to Lula and her magic. <laughs> he does believe in magic now. They still haven't pranked Mr. Beak. He sits in his favourite yellow chair, reading a book about ghosts. <laughs> Mr. Beak is laughing as he reads because he doesn't believe in ghosts. The sight of Lula wearing a hat and a magic wand makes him laugh even more. He doesn't believe in magic. The book flies out of Mr. Beak's hand, shocking him. <laughs> then another book, bigger and heavier, flies out of the bookshelf. And then a mask flies off the shelf and spins in the air. The objects are chasing Mr. Beak around the house. The books try to bite him on the tail. Mr. Beak runs to Lula and asks for her help to protect him with her magic. <laughs> He's scared. Lula happily nods. When the books and mask fly towards her, she waves her magic wand and they instantly lose all their powers. <gasps> they fall to the floor. 
Mr. Beak is happy that Lula saved him. He is impressed by her magic powers. <coughs> Mr. Beak, Spike and Noodle all believe in magic now and are very grateful to Lula. They want to see what other magic tricks she can do. Happily, Lula waves her wand and a few apples immediately appear in the air. <coughs> Mr. Beak and Noodle take one each. Spike grabs a handful. Then Lula waves her wand and makes the toy plane fly up into the sky. She also brings the mask back to life. Everyone enjoys the fun. Finally, the magic is over and Lula taps a box. Booba jumps out of it, revealing himself. <laughs> but uh-oh, he isn't wearing the invisibility cloak. He left it inside the box. Booba and Lula have been found out. Noodle jumps into the box, burying himself in the cloak and disappears. Noodle giggles. <laughs> Maybe he's good at magic too. <laughs> <laughs>